Hey guys, I hope that you're all having an absolutely wonderful day today. So we are going to be going through and doing the unboxing of the shockingly on time Loot Crate for the month of May 2018. Now I will link down below to my previous unboxing of this box from March. It is a bi-monthly box. Um, I was not overly impressed with that box at all and I have been teetering on whether or not I am going to cancel my subscription to this box. Um, I went off on a long rant in the other box that I will spare you. Uh, so like I said, go watch that if you want to hear all of my full uh, feelings on this box. This one I will try to spare you <laughs> as many negative feelings as possible, although I am not overly enthused by this box. Um, so I don't know how much I can keep to that promise. I think that the next box is probably going to be my last box, full disclosure. Obviously, keep watching if you want to see what is in this box. Uh, I will link down below to the Loot Crate website in case you are interested in signing up for it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like unboxing videos and Harry Potter things. I'm gonna stop talking and we're gonna get into this box. I have already opened this and I already know it's inside it, which is why I'm already kind of like meh about it. So we'll see how you guys feel. Uh, the first thing to note is that they actually did change what the box itself looks like. Um, it did have a different design on the cover here, but it seems that this is the new logo to represent everything within the Wizarding World. Uh, there are going to be new Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts lego sets that are coming out probably in september ish and um they have been leaking slowly the box art and all of the character designs and everything and this logo does appear to be on the front of those boxes as well so this seems to be the direction that they are going in um i actually really like it a lot it has all sorts of different wands here the theme for this box was house pride and after every Every box we receive, Loot Crate sends out a survey asking what you thought of it, and sometimes they'll throw in a couple of different um, random questions. And a question that they seem to ask a lot was, do you want house-specific items in your box? I'm all about house-specific items. I like having house-specific items. I'm sure a lot of other people do because everything in this box, with the exception of one thing, is house-specific. In case you are not familiar with me and my house alignment. I am a Slytherin, so everything in this box is Slytherin themed. So once you open up the box, the inside looks like this. Um, it has all of the different emblems for all of the different houses as well as an H for Hogwarts. So you can kind of already see the first item that we got, which is a Slytherin shirt. So this is the design that's on the shirt. Uh, this is a Loot Crate exclusive. I think my problem is I already buy myself so much Harry Potter stuff. So while I love having Slytherin shirts and stuff, I want to pick out the ones that I really like the design on. And not that I don't like the design on this, but like I can, I can get a Slytherin t-shirt anywhere. I can probably find something similar to this design somewhere, you know, like so it's not that exclusive to me. I don't mind getting shirts, but at the same time I would kind of like them to be a little bit different. So that's kind of my gripe with this is that the stuff isn't really that like impressive. Alright, so the next item that is in this box is not a Loot Crate exclusive and I I have to say I was watching my friend Demi's video which I will link to in the description box below. And she said that she actually bought this exact item at Target a couple weeks ago. So another complaint is that, you know, I would like to have stuff that I don't have to worry about if I'm going to go out to the store that if I buy something, I'm going to end up finding it in this box. Like, I want to know that the stuff that I'm going to get is exclusive to this box and that I don't have to necessarily worry about any sort of crossover. I don't have these, um, so I'm fine with having them in this box. but. That's just another concern, but it is a Slytherin pair of crew socks, so they are pretty nice. Um, they say Slytherin on the bottom of the foot, I'm assuming. Um, and then you also get a pair of Hogwarts Crest socks as well. 
um, but she got this exact set of socks with the Slytherin pair and the Hogwarts pair at Target already. So um, if you like these socks, <laughs> you can head over to Target and pick them up for yourself. So the next item that we received is a patch. It is a Slytherin Quidditch patch. I have a collection of patches that I have no idea what to do with um, between the different Funko boxes and then this box. I seem to get a lot of patches. I don't do much with patches. I don't hate the design. It has, you know, all of the Quidditch um, posts and the snitch up top. So that's kind of cool that it's like a sporty patch kind of thing, but since I personally don't do anything with patches, I don't really have a need for this, I guess. I don't know. It's just okay to me. So the next item that I got in the box is probably my favorite item that we received in this box, and it is a Slytherin pocket watch slash necklace kind of thing. Um, so this is a Loot Crate exclusive. Obviously it's house specific and it's just really, really pretty and very detailed. So then once you open up on the inside, it even has like Slytherin logo on the inside on the watch face. And then the last item that we received is our pin. Um, so they picked right back up with the Horcrux collection and this is the Harry Potter one. So it is a black lightning bolt pin which is really pretty and then it says neither can live while the other survives and it's kind of in like the font of the books which I think is really cool. I was kind of wondering how they were going to do Harry's pin. <laughs> um, I was just assuming they would just do a giant Harry head um, with the lightning bolt scar but I'm glad that they went this route instead. Uh, this is a lot better <laughs> than what I was picturing. So I'm assuming that the next box is going to have the final pin in this series, the next box's theme is Magical Creatures. The last pin that we have in the Horcrux series is Nagini. So I am assuming that she is going to be the final pin in this collection. I'm hoping because that's what I'm really holding out for before I cancel my subscription is to get the entire collection of the Horcrux pins. I will say, however, that they made a huge giant typo in their little mailer thing. Um, so they have a little blurb about every item, of course, and so under the pin, it says, Lord Voldemort made eight Horcruxes, though only seven of them were intentional. And as I was reading this, I was standing there with my friend Noelle, and I was like, there's eight Horcruxes? Since when? And like, I've been off my Harry Potter game, but I know that like seven is like the number for everything in that series. Like seven comes up constantly. And I knew there were only seven, but I was like, well, they wouldn't make an error that's that egregious, would they? And they did. So yeah, they, they said that he has eight Horcruxes when in fact he has seven. Um, <laughs> so maybe somebody needs to fact check this stuff before it goes out to Harry Potter fans. Out of everything that we got in this box, the pin, the t-shirt, the patch, and the pocket watch are all exclusive items and the socks, is, which they count as two separate items because they are two separate pairs of socks, I guess, even though they're packaged together. Yeah, they, uh, they count as two different items. That is everything that we got in this box. Like I said, I'm not overly jazzed about it. It, it just really did not do a lot for me. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm I'm sad, but I, I think I'm gonna have to unsubscribe from this. I think also the thing with this box is that, you know, any Disney box, for instance, that I subscribe to, like Disney Treasures, I know that there are so many different ways that they can go with that box because Disney as a property is just so big and there's so many different things that fall under the Disney umbrella. Whereas with Harry Potter, even though, yes, there is Fantastic Beasts, and everything that's going to come with that. There's only so much that you can really do with Harry Potter, um, especially if you're doing a box to the masses of people that you know may not be like ridiculous fans like myself, who would be like thrilled to death to have like a Yaxley T-shirt or something. Um, you know, people who don't know all of the minute details and all of the like super duper minor characters. This is something for you know 
just the general public of people who are excited for Harry Potter stuff. I think that this is great if you are not a huge Harry Potter merchandise collector um, or if you're a newer fan, if you don't have much of a collection to start with, I think that this is an awesome box for you. But if you're someone who is an established collector and you've been collecting Harry Potter stuff for a long time, I don't think that this is the box for you. There's a lot of other really cool boxes that do a lot of really cool items or the Geek Gear box that comes from the UK. Uh, they've definitely stepped up their game substantially. I have been unsubscribed to them for a while, but I still watch people unbox their boxes. And they do a lot of really, really neat merchandise. Um, I think there's an Accio box now that I've seen some people. Um, there's a Gobstone Alley box that is from Europe, somewhere in Europe, um, that's awesome and is a really great box. Uh, but it does cost a bit of money to have it come over to the, United, to the United States. So if you are a U.S. based Harry Potter fan, it is a little bit harder to find um, inexpensive Harry Potter subscription services. So unfortunately, we are kind of stuck with this one as our easy, inexpensive uh, solution. and. It's not that great. Okay guys, so that is everything that I have for this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching this unboxing. And please let me know down in the comment either A, whether you are a subscriber to this box and if you are enjoying it, or B, if you have a different Harry Potter subscription service that you can recommend to me. I feel sad to not have a Harry Potter subscription service at all. But at the same time, I just don't want to keep accumulating things that I don't necessarily like or need or want. Let me know what your favorite item from this box was. Like I said, mine was by far the um, pocket watch necklace thing. I thought that that was so, so cool. Um, so let me know what you liked. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Like I said before, we have a giveaway coming up and I do monthly giveaways Going forward, May, I kind of fell off the wagon a little bit, but <laughs> going forward, we will be having monthly giveaways, so you need to be subscribed in order to com compete, participate, that's a better word, <laughs> in the giveaways, so definitely hit that subscribe button. Um, and yeah, I think that that's everything that I have for you today, so thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me for a little bit, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye! Mm -hmm.